able to connect your device uh, to any tablet, phone, any mobile devices you may have. So what we're going to do, go onto the screen and you right click. So once you right click, there'll be this little order of options up here. What we're going to go on to, we're going to go on to system. Once we're on system, we're going to click network. Make sure the DHCP is enabled. It connects your IP automatically rather than you doing it manually. And then we go on to advanced here. So once we're on advanced, we go to platform access. So over here, we're going to have the uh, status bar here. It says online here what we have to do to ensure that this is online. You need to make sure that your um, DVR is connected to your router. So you take your you take your Ethernet cable and then you connect your router to the DVR. Here it should say online. If it doesn't, check your router, check the cables. If there's nothing visibly wrong with your router, what you need to do, go on enable, disable it, re-enable it, and a lot of the time it will fix automatically. It's just like a quick reboot, refresh. So once you want to connect your phone, so there are multiple ways we can do this. This actually has the option to download the app using this code here. So what we do, you can take your phone and it will say, there'll be a little update or you can use this code scanner and it'll say to open it in the app store. I've actually already got the app, so I'm just going to go straight onto the app itself. So over here we have the option to add devices. You look in the right, top right hand corner and it's a plus sign. Press that, press scan QR code. And then once we've done that, we're going to, we've gone onto the barcode, it's found it. We're going to add that option there. And it's taking a while, but what it does, the options, it's added, the device is there. Press finish, save it or name it, whatever you need to name it, if you do need to change the name. And the device will actually come up there. So you can see the live screen of it, and it's here. So, another thing that we can do here once we're done with that, go back onto the screen, back onto settings, network, advanced, platform access. Rather than unbinding the device on your phone itself, so if you're on another account and you need to access the camera, it will have this option for you to unbind it. However, you have to be connected to the same network as the device itself. It's quite a long process. It's not very long, but it, this can save you a lot of time. Here, the option to unbind is, the option to unbind is on the screen itself. Sorry for the beeping. You can press unbind, put in your password, and it will unbind itself rather than you having to do it manually on the phone. Hope you've enjoyed this video.